Welcome back on the program. Well, well, we are turning our attention to the female angle. Uh, the other time, I had Shesson, Olu Shesson Okwade talking about being optimistic about this present administration and how far can they go in ensuring that they fulfill the dividends of democracy uh, to Nigerians. Now, I have a female politician in the house at the moment. Her name is Fatima Mohammed. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the good program. Good morning, Mr. Right. Jay. Quite a long time. Feels very you. good to be back home. <laughs> Quite it's a long, long, long oh, yes. time having you on yes. uh, the program this yes. morning. It's been the stress of you know politics mm. and all of that. Okay. The electionary period, um, they're over now, so back to normalcy. Mm -hmm. So what is new? What is new? A whole lot of things. Fatima hasn't stopped being Fatima. Okay. She's still into her humanitarian services. I. I've been palliating people's pains. Okay. I don't like to call it poverty eradication because no single individual or government can eradicate poverty. What you can do is you can palliate it. You can cushion the effect. And mm. I think that's what I've been getting myself up to. And then, most importantly, I've been trying to put my finances back on okay. the right track. Electioneering dug a very, very, very <laughs> massive hole in my finances. So well, I'm trying a, a, to a lot of people will tell you that uh, if you don't have what it takes, you, you can't get there. I agree with you absolutely. I've said that several too. Mm. If you cannot um, afford to do the spending, mm -hmm. when you're a politician, you must spend money closing your eyes. You must be a blind giver. Okay. You know, Is that culminating into you winning elections oh it doesn't culminate into winning because if if being a selfless person if being somebody who gives her totality culminates into mm. winning an election i'm sure that my votes would have been you know miles apart but in this part of the world it's still we're still a developing nation do not forget in this part of the world we sadly are involved with so much manipulations, mm -hmm. so much regain, so much falsification of results. You find people who are not worthy to be secondary school teachers, okay. aspiring to be university lecturers, or even a VC. So you have a lot of round peg in square holes, and I, I, all I'm doing is praying for, for you know, God's intervention, so that indeed this particular dispensation can give us a democracy that is truly doable and achievable. I, I, are you saying electorates. that you're just praying, you're not challenging the result in court? Uh, I've gone through, I, I, have, I am actually in court. Okay. But you see, I've gone through, I've gone past that stage where you're going to keep going through, you know, this is a, it's a circle. Okay. We're used to these things. Mm. But I'm sure they can see the difference now. I have a lot of people crying and gnashing their teeth in Ifakweja right now. They haven't even left me. They are still on my neck. They want this. Like when I did the iftar last year, I was doing iftar every day for 30 days. People said, oh, it's because she's contesting. You see, after elections, you won't see her. Hey, I'm in Ifakweja. I'm doing iftar at the moment. Mm -hmm. Hey, I promised the 200 students I bought jam from for. Okay. I told them, I said, if you get results above 250, I would ensure that I sponsor you. Behold, I have three I just unpicked. And these three did well. They had about 270. And some people said, why do you want to waste your money? For me, it is not waste. For me, it is impacting in people's lives. For me, it is saying that I am doing this for you so that you can continually do it for the people behind you. So I see a new Ifakwe Jai that will turn around. Uh, overall thinking because a lot of people sold their votes for a muscle of porridge okay. for some of the people it was massive rigging i had incidences of people who were crying that they would not and i had to you know the psychological trauma of having to sit people down having to tell them that it is time for us to accept reality accept this thing it is god that empowers people and puts people in position okay sometimes people get into position not because god says, oh, they are the right set of people. But God wants to use them to teach people a lesson. 